I'm Julie and in the next few minutes I'll be introducing you to your brilliant new Fisher & Paykel dish drawer dishwasher. We'll see what makes it the most advanced dishwasher in the world by far and we'll look at how you can make the most of it, saving yourself water, energy and of course time. But first a look at the people who made it possible. Fisher & Paykel is a company that's driven by innovation and they're constantly perfecting their technology to make everyday appliances even smarter, easier to use and more economical. They're a company that genuinely cares about their people. Why else would the average stay here be 15 years? And they use the most advanced technology to produce precision appliances for the world market. Like its revolutionary smart drive washer that uses a flat, digitally controlled motor that provides unique control of the wash process as well as eliminating the need for a transmission to make the washer quieter and more reliable. This same type of motor technology is used in dish drawer. Small, powerful flat motors integrated with the wash mechanism leave more room for the dishes and allow Fisher & Paykel to fit two separate dishwashers in the same space as a conventional machine. After nine years of intense development and testing, they've created a dishwasher that's dramatically different to anything you've ever seen or used before. Let's take a look. Your dish drawer has been designed by closely studying the many different ways people like you and I prepare food, the way we cook, eat and entertain. And I think you'll agree the dish drawer is a solution that's both thoughtful and very practical. Firstly, the sliding drawers. You probably know from your own kitchen how much easier it is to store and find things in sliding drawers rather than cupboards. Now the same thing goes for your dishwasher. And with these two completely independent drawers, you now have many more choices about how and when you do your dishes. For example, you're having a large dinner party. Leave the dish drawer to deal with your preparation dishes while you serve the first course. Then as you clear the table, load your dishes according to the type of wash treatment they require. Like fine china and glassware in here for a nice delicate wash. And heavily soiled plates and dishes down here for the really heavy duty treatment. Of course, the other great option is that guilt-free load. Because each drawer really does only use half the energy and half the water of conventional dishwashers, you can do a small load, say the breakfast or lunch dishes, straight after the meal with a clear conscience. When you do this, you'll probably find there's no need to put clean dishes away at all. Instead, you'll use clean dishes straight from one drawer and put the dirty dishes back in the other drawer. And best of all, when you use a single drawer like this, You'll never have too many dishes out of action at any one time. Because you can design your own rack system inside, you can make all that clutter of tall glasses and awkward serving dishes virtually disappear off the bench. Your new dish drawer has also been designed with the utmost simplicity in mind, both inside and out. Let's have a look at the technology that drives it. You'd expect that being the most advanced and intelligent dishwasher in the world, it would be a mass of complex technology in here. Not so. This little handful is the powerhouse that drives your dish drawer. And it replaces all of this in a conventional dishwasher. The dish drawer's motor and electronics are based on Fisher & Paykel's highly acclaimed smart drive technology. Today the dish drawer's motor is not only a good deal smarter, it's also just a fraction of the size with even less moving parts than ever before. After all, if a part's not there, it can't fail. Makes sense to me. Intelligent communication between the electronics and motor sense the load and wash performance of each cycle. If necessary, the dish drawer will alter the water level to meet the different demands of each load. In designing your dish drawer, the Fisher & Paykel team has also been mindful of our environment and your pocket, creating a dishwasher that uses the bare minimum of water and energy to get the job done thoroughly. You'll also find your dish drawer a good deal quieter. Up until now, dishwasher tubs have been made of stainless steel. When water hits it at speed, you get that pinging noise. The dish drawer is the first machine in the world to use Fisher & Paykel's unique noise reduction material, which is made from an advanced polymer substance. 
The other great thing about this new material is that the drawers are formed in a single piece, so there are no square corners to trap dirt and there are no joins to weaken or leak. Now let's take a look at what happens inside when you switch your dish drawer on. Firstly, this inflatable seal pumps up to make the wash drawer absolutely watertight. The machine then drains out any excess water from your previous load. A short pre-rinse cycle removes most of the heavy soiling from the load, then the rinse cycle begins. Approximately two pints of water comes in and is heated by this thin but highly efficient porcelain enameled steel plate. When the electronic brain detects water is at the correct level, it stops filling and begins washing. Water is then pumped into the spray arm and carefully directed at the load. It's recirculated as often as necessary to do a really thorough job and drains away. A fresh load of water comes in to do the main wash and this is where the real intelligence begins. You may notice your motor stopping and starting a little during the cycle. It just means that the electronic brain is checking there's enough water in circulation and that the motor is performing as it should. If it's not, it'll take appropriate action. With Distraw, even the detergent is introduced in a new, more gentle way. Most dispensers flip open to release detergent directly into the base of the machine. With the dish drawer, all incoming water flows through the dispenser to thoroughly mix and dilute your detergent with water. So your dishes are protected from detergent burn. Once the wash is completed, a double rinse cycle removes all traces of detergent before the drying cycle begins. Like almost everything else, the way your dishes are dried has been revolutionised. The dish drawer uses a unique and highly energy efficient fan which eliminates condensation. Now before you get started, we'll take a look at how best to set up your dish drawer. First of all, arrange inserts provided to suit the way you think you'll be using your dish drawer most often. The inserts are easily removable, so you can change your layout as often as you like. This base basket holds some of the inserts in place and keeps the dishes above the spray arm so it can rotate freely. Your plate insert simply clips into the base basket like so. Be sure to insert the front end first, then clip back under the base basket. This is the Mega Rack and it accommodates dishes of all sizes and shapes. It fits on either side, although it works best on the left hand side if you're washing wine glasses. Hook it onto the middle of the basket, then clip it onto the side. To select the positions of the cup and glass holders, simply slide these posts into the slots of the tub wall. The larger cup holder also supports long utensils. Your cutlery basket fits in the front like this, but it can be moved around to accommodate large items. Now you're ready to load your dish drawer. Scrape all food scraps off your dishes, removing any bones, crusts, toothpicks and so on. Place plates, anything up to 11 and a half inches in diameter, in the large racks and take care not to overload it. With cups and glasses, you have two storeys, both with extra width and depth, to accommodate big latte cups and long-stemmed glasses. When loading cutlery, place it in this basket with the handles down, except sharp items. Be sure to mix spoons, knives and forks within each compartment, otherwise they can nest together. Place long utensils flat on here. The dish drawer really does think of everything. This elevated platform lifts those hard to clean teaspoons and soup spoons into the direct line of spray. Make sure they face toward the center of the tub like this. And be sure to keep silver and stainless steel separate as they can stain one another. Once loaded, pour your detergent in this dispenser. There are three levels marked on the two part dispenser. Filter the lowest level for a delicate program, middle level for a normal program, and to the top for a heavy program. Also fill this small dispenser, which will be released into the pre-wash cycle. Now add your rinse aid. This gives a streak-free, sparkling look to glassware and china. It also speeds up drying and helps prevent metal tarnish. This dispenser holds enough for about 20 washes pour rinse aid into the circular area. Be sure to wipe up any spills and replace the plug to its original position. 
This red indicator will light up to let you know when your rinse aid runs out. For more information about setting your rinse aid dispenser, refer to your use and care manual. Now the really easy part. For quick and easy access and a great streamlined look, controls you use most often are located here on the front of the machine. Power, start, pause and lock here with this electronic display window. If yours is an integrated dish drawer, your controls will look like this in both models. All your programming controls are cleverly concealed in here, so before you close the drawer, touch this programming button to select the type of wash you require. Rinse only to prevent food drying onto dishes. Heavy for heavily soiled pots and pans. Normal for everyday dishes. Fast for lightly soiled dishes. Or delicate for lightly soiled or heat sensitive crockery. This red indicator light confirms which program you've selected. Or you can select any of these programs with an energy saving feature. EcoSave gives you a shorter, slightly cooler wash. Simply touch the EcoSave button once, then select your program as normal. The green indicator light tells you you're in EcoSave mode. Now close the drawer. Then press the Start Pause button to start the program. The electronic display will turn green and show you how many minutes are remaining in the program. If you have an integrated dish drawer, this green light above the Start Pause button lets you know a wash is in progress. To interrupt the program, say to add extra dishes or check the load, press the start pause button. Wait till you hear three beeps and open the drawer. The minute symbol will flash while in this mode. To restart, simply close the drawer and press the start pause button again. To delay the start of your program by up to 12 hours, and take advantage of off-peak power rates, simply hold down the start button until the electronic display turns orange. The time will increase in one hour increments. Release the button when it reaches the desired delay and your dish drawer will automatically start in that number of hours. The lock button stops the dish drawer being turned on and off accidentally. Simply hold the button down until a key appears at the bottom of the electronic display and is no longer blinking. This tells you it's locked, which means no other functions can be activated. Ideal for when cleaning or when children are in the house. To unlock, press and hold the lock button until the key disappears. With the integrated model, simply press down the lock button until this light stops blinking. To unlock, press until the light disappears. If at any time your machine develops a fault, it'll let you know by beeping continuously at one second intervals like this. If your dish drawer has an electronic display, one of 11 different fault codes like this will appear here. If you have an integrated dish drawer, this light above the start pause button will turn from green to red and one or more of the wash programs will light continuously. For further details of what each code and light means and what to do, just follow the instructions in your use and care manual. In some cases, you can easily fix the problem yourself. Finally, a few words about caring for your dish drawer. Use a soft, damp cloth to wipe down the outside and inside your drawer. From time to time, your drain filter will need cleaning. Just remove it like this. Empty out any food scraps. Occasionally, you may like to clean your spray arm. Just remove the basket and the spray arm lifts off easily. Shake out any food particles, rinse it under running water and wipe it with a damp cloth. By taking care of your dish drawer this way, you can expect many years of reliable, practical use from it. In fact, you'll wonder how you ever managed without it. Finally, you will have received the Smart Care card with your machine. It's very important that you complete it and return it this registers you as a dish drawer user with our customer care centre. If you have any further queries or problems concerning your dish drawer, refer to your use and care manual or talk to your dealer. Or, as a member of Fisher & Paykel's family now, you can call Fisher & Paykel's customer care centre for advice or operating instructions, in fact, just about anything. I'm sure you'll enjoy using your dish drawer.